Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on producing pseudo-random numbers that are normally distributed using Excel. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. Sometimes when applying statistics and learning statistics, it's convenient to be able to produce variables that contain random numbers that follow a normal distribution, variables that are normally distributed. And we can do this in Excel using the data analysis tools. However, first I'm going to cover the RAND and RAND between functions and show you what type of distribution those functions generate. So oftentimes when we think of random numbers, we think of these functions. So in cell A1, I'm going to use the RAND between function. And for the bottom argument, the value will be 1. And the top argument, the value will be 100. So this will produce a random number between 1 and 100. So in this case, it generated 72. I'm going to autofill this down. I'm going to fill this down to row 200. And move it back up to the top. Notice that this 72 is now 90. That's because autofilling created an update for the RAND between function. So it, it recalculates every time you autofill, it recalculates every time I change the value of a cell. So I'll change B1 to the value 1. It recalculated. If I delete a value, it recalculates. So to hold this stable, I'm going to select A1 and then control shift down arrow and control C. I'm going to copy this and then move up to cell B1 and paste special. In this case, paste values. And I can delete column A. And now you can see I can make changes to cell B1 and nothing happens to column A because there's, these are just values now. There's no longer a function here. So we have 200 values, and again, control shift down arrow, selecting all of the cells in that range that have numbers in them, and go to insert, and over to charts, and under insert statistics chart, I'm going to select histogram. And you can see here from this histogram that these values appear to be uniformly distributed every value has an equal chance of being selected by the RAND between function. So that in this case, the values of 1 to 100. All those values have an equal chance of being selected, so we end up with a uniform distribution. This is not a normal distribution. To create a variable that's normally distributed, I'm going to go to Data, and over here, all the way to the right, Data Analysis Tools. If you don't have this item on the data ribbon, go to File, Options, and Add-ins, and you can add this onto the data ribbon, so data analysis tools will be available for you. So I'm going to click this, and you can see there are a number of analysis tools available in this list box. I'm going to select Random Number Generation. Click OK, and by default the distribution here is set to discrete. And you can see uniform is one of the options available. So to create a uniform distribution, you could use RAND, RAND between, or this random number generation method. However, in this case, I'm going to select normal. We're trying to create a variable that's normally distributed. And here I'm going to create five variables. And the number of random numbers, so this will be the number of values in each variable, I'm going to set that to 200. So it's going to equal the size of the variable I have in column A, that uniformly distributed variable. For the mean and the standard deviation, by default, it's set to 0 and 1, uh, a z-score, a standard score. If you wanted this to be a different mean and standard deviation, you'd adjust it here. For example, if you want to be a t-score, a mean of 50, and a standard deviation of 10, or any other number of standard scores, you could make that adjustment here. And then down here for output options, by default, new worksheet is 
checked off, I'm going to check off output range and then select B1. So you have dollar sign B, dollar sign 1. So this is where it'll start creating the random numbers. So this is set up now to create a pseudo random normally distributed variable. And click OK. And you can see we have five variables that were created and there are 200 records in each variable, 200 values. We're using this same chart that I used for this first variable. I'm going to delete chart title to make more room here and increase the size, resize the chart. So using the same chart, I can move the area selected one row over to the right to have the first variable displayed on this histogram. And we can see comparing the variable in column A to the variable in column B, the variable in column B does appear to be normally distributed. Now of course to know it more definitively you'd have to run other tests uh, like a Shapiro-Wilk and you want to look at the skewness as well. Uh, but for this example we can see that it appears normally distributed by the histogram and we're just going to assume that it is. And then moving over to column C, again appears normally distributed. There's a few uh, values here to the right, but it, overall it appears normally distributed. Same thing for column D, E, and F. And this one doesn't appear to be as close to a normal distribution as a few of these others did. However, in general, you can see the these variables do appear to be normally distributed for the most part. I hope you found this video on creating pseudo-random numbers that are normally distributed in Excel to be helpful, and thanks for watching.